Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we did all the free-to-play quests, and we just wrapped up with Dragon Slayer. We are going to be continuing on with a bunch more quests, um, but right now I have to edit the last video. Previously, doing fire making was like my activity I did when I was editing, but now we're done with fire making, so we're going to move on to another skill, which is going to be fishing. We have 27 fishing, 14 cooking. We're going to do some fly fishing here at Barbarian Village. Oh, nice. We had 10k feathers in the bank. I thought we only had 5k for some reason. I mean, not that we're going to be going through that many today, but nice to know that we're stocked up. Now, we could start barbarian fishing once we get to level 48, but I'm pretty sure it's not even worth it until you unlock the second type of fish at 58. Wait, no, we can't even cook them yet. We need 15 cooking for trout. Okay, I know you have a bunch of raw food in the bank from when you were training fire making. And that was fast. There's 25 cooking. We can now cook salmon. So now we're going to start AFK fishing, starting with 27 and 25. And, oh, that we got an easy task. I was going to say, if you didn't know already, this fire is everlasting. It's just permanent and never turns into ashes, which is why it's very convenient to cook while you're fishing the fish here. Although I'm definitely not going to be making them. I'm just dropping them. Can we even catch salmon? I just realized that. Oh, not till 30 fishing. Well, that's pretty close. Oh, we just got 700 total level along with 34 fishing, which I just now found out is the requirement to wear the angler's outfit, which I never knew there was a requirement but I never really thought about before. Oh, while we're here, I just saw that cat there. That just reminded me, uh, we should probably start raising the kitten because we're going to need it for at least one or I think a couple quests later on. Um, and we haven't even started at all. I think it actually tells you the time now. There's a way to check. Interact. Guess age. Zero minutes old and it takes three hours to raise it to an adult. Oh. Your kid. Oh. <clears throat> Kara. Cool, we're uh, up to level 44 for each of these now. I'm done eating dinner, I'm done editing. Let's get into the questing for today. Man, we really need to get the Arty Cloak 1 and Fairy Rings because that's like a really nice combo to have versus just like randomly using all these mini games teleports and canoes, all these random transportation methods. I need some stability in my life. Throughout all the questing and adventuring that we've been doing, I have been slowly collecting all the signatures on the bar crawl card and uh, we have to come to the Sears Village pub right here for the murder mystery quest. And it just so happens to be the last signature that we need for the card. So we're going to be all set once we uh, eventually go back to Barbasalt to hand that in. Now after visiting all these pubs, apparently we're too drunk to be able to read the card. Even though I split up all these pubs between like five different days. But anyways. And murder mystery is done. We get some crafting XP. And I think that was four crafting levels. I don't know what it is, but Catherby just feels so much more like nostalgic on a low level account. Actually, I guess like everything in the game feels more nostalgic, but I just got hit with like a wave of nostalgia here. We're doing Lost Tribe right now and we need a light source for it. And not to flex too hard, but I do have probably the best light source in the game. Oh, this brings me back to the early days of the UIM. I remember this was, I think this was the first place I ever death piled at because, you know, if you don't have a light source, you take one damage at a time. Oh, so many memories. I keep having to teleport to Faldor, but we're only one level off. We've been level 36, so... I think I'll just like kill a few guards here and get the level. Oh yeah, 37 magic has never felt so good. It's gotta be a diary task, right? Teleport to Falador, nice. And that is the Lost Tribe quest complete, 3000 mining XP, uh, a ring of life, which we don't need because we're not hardcore, so probably just gonna end up alking it. We unlocked two new emotes, including probably my favorite emote in the game, the Goblin D Salute. And then we also unlocked access to the, the bone weaponry shop downstairs. The bone crossbow is super good for like how cheap it is. It's 2k for the crossbow and then the bolts uh, cost a little bit of GP as well. Unfortunately, I think we need like 28 range to use the crossbow, right? Yeah, and we only have level 1 right now, but I mean 28 is not too bad to get. We'll just stock up on uh, a bit of bone bolts as well. So now when we can eventually use the crossbow, we'll be set. We need a bone spear for a hard clue step, and it's only 600 GP, so we'll just buy that now. I think this was the first time stopping by this uh, Castle Wars observatory area, so I just wanted to pick up some of these super anti-poisons just for like the various activities that we'll end up doing. Mm, let's take a look here. Ah yes, according to my dubious speculation, it would in fact appear that Mercury is in Gatorade and tuna. Okay, apparently we got Leo. We got probably the best ninja turtle and that is going to be the end of observatory quest. You got some more crafting XP. Ooh, will this put us at 20 hopefully? 
Yeah, nice, 22 crafting. I think it's 20 that we need for Elemental Workshop 1. Nice, yeah, we should do that. Want to quickly stop by here to finish up Merlin's Crystal and you get six quest points from it, which is the most quest points you get from a single quest besides for RFD. And that also put us at a nice clean 100 quest points. Wait, that's it? Oh. Uh, I guess it's Elemental Workshop 2 where you have to like make the bar around the whole room thing. I don't know why I thought that was this quest, but yeah, we got um, crafting XP and smithing XP. And the only thing that we still needed for Elemental Workshop 2 was 30 smithing, but we got that from this quest. So we can go ahead and just go straight to Elemental Workshop 2 now. Loving the crafting levels as well. Um, I really want to be able to make those emerald rings for uh, rings of dueling. Let me see what level we need. Oh, 27. Oh, dude, we can make them now. Oh, it's so freaking good. And then to enchant them, we need 27 magic, which we can do as well. Oh, yes, dude. Let's do Elemental Workshop 2 now, though. Once we make this, that should be the end of Elemental Workshop 2. 7.5k crafting and smithing XP. I was just thinking about the crafting. There's like so much stuff we can make now. We can make the um, sapphire necklaces for games necklaces as well. Oh, I can't wait to make all that transportation. Let's check the bank. I wanna see how many gems we got from Toad. Oh my God, that's <laughs> so freaking many. Unfortunately, I don't think we got any gold bars. We can't smelt them though. We need 40 smithing and we're only 36. We could also just telegraph the gold bar under the Rock West Bank. Now we're going to head into the jungle for some more questing. And this is the end of the jungle potion quest. We got some herb lore XP putting us at 21 herb lore. I want to get 30 before doing the RD easy diary because you need level 30 to put the XP lamp into the skill. Maybe next time we go to the bank we'll clean a bunch of the herbs that we got from fire making. Maybe try to make some potions too and see if we can get to 30. But now let's try Shiloh Village. Okay and this is going to be the end of the Shiloh Village quest. Bunch of crafting the XP and it's just a nice one to have out of the way. Now I can go to bed. It's been uh, five days since group Iron Man has come out and uh feel like we're, we're looking pretty good so far up to 105 quest points. See you in the morning. Oh man, I love getting all these quests done late at night because like now when I wake up, I, I'm like, whoa, I can't believe all that happened. It's like, it's like it was even me doing it. It's just, it's just free quests. Here's the herb lore tab. Let's see if we can uh, use the stuff to get us to 30 herb lore from level 21. We have a lot of herbs we can at the very least clean. I'm not so sure about making potions though. It looks like I used everything that I currently have in the bank to train herb lore with, uh, which got us to level 28. Um, if I buy some secondaries though, like more Eyes of Newt or Chocolate Bars or Chocolate Dust, I think we can make it to 30. Went to Port Serum to buy more Eyes of Newt and I realized that we need to go to Entrana for Holy Grail, so we may as well continue on with the Holy Grail quest in the meantime. No way, we got a genie lamp. Is that gonna- no, okay. Well, every bit of herbal XP helps. This guy has what I have right now, Guam Disease, because I'm just- making all these Guam potions, but I don't know if I have enough. No, dude, we're gonna be so close. We're less than 500 XP away. I'd have to go buy some more chocolate bars and then I think we could uh, get the level then, but let's, let's just finish up the quest. Yes, this took a ridiculous amount of time and there were multiple times I considered giving up and just coming back to it later, but we made it through. There we go, the quest is done. 11K prayer XP, 15.3K defense XP, up to 30 prayer now. We just skipped through a bunch of levels. Doing this quest made me realize how much I really want to have like more teleport options, um, specifically fairy rings. So I think we're going to try to unlock fairy rings next, but there's quite a few quests that we're going to have to do for that. We're going to start with Lost City though. Yo, look at this random person here. We're twinning. Nice, tree spirit defeated. Now we can chop the cinnamon tree. It's so easy going to Entrana on a banky account. Let's enter the shed. It's going to take us to Xanarus and that is Lost City complete. And we now have a pretty completely useless Draymond staff. Uh, we have to do Fairy Tale Part 1 and then start Fairy Tale Part 2 in order to be able to use Fairy Rings. But if we look at the quest requirements here, we have to do Nature Spirit. And to do Nature Spirit, we need Priest and Pearl, so let's start that now. Fun fact about this Temple Guardian, this is what Dark Beasts used to look like a long time ago, except they were brown, but this was the model for them. And apparently his name is Spots. Priest and Pearl is done! We got one prayer level out of it, let's go on to Nature Spirit. We can now enter the Swamp. Another Gravedigger event done, and we get the Zombie Dance emote. There is Nature Spirit complete. We get all that XP, and that is the last requirement that we were missing for Fairytale Part 1. 
So let's go do that. Here we go. This is the point in the quest where we find out the three special items that we're gonna need to complete it. Wait, I, I just skipped over it. Hold on, let's check the quest thing. Uh, blue dragon scale, mosquito proboscis, and jinger berries. You know, I'm almost tempted to get 70 agility just to go through the obstacle pipe just to save like a couple minutes, but... <laughs> We'll go the long way around. I also didn't bring an anti-dragon shield. Um, I, maybe I should have, but I don't think we need to run past the adult blue dragons to get to the dragon scales. So it's, it would just be like extra weight. The run would go down faster that way. Worst case scenario, we could just telegrab it. No way, bro, we unlocked the fork knife music track. Okay, as long as the adult dragon doesn't attack me, we're good. Should probably get some more, at least one more in case um, Spook gets the same step. We can only encounter mosquitoes doing Taibo want to clean up and they drop the thing that we need. Guaranteed drop as well, so there we go. For the last item that we need, the Jenger berries, we can steal them from the fruit stall, which we need 25 thieving for, which we have. But we also need, uh, I think it's 15% Hosidia's favor. Yeah, we have to get to 15% favor first. This kind of worked out because I sort of want to get thieving up a bit first anyways before we started blackjacking. And we'll get some strange fruits too, which will be nice with running around. Another Gravedigger random done, and we get two more pieces of the zombie outfit. Or is that the full zombie outfit? No, we still need two more pieces. There is 5% favor, we are done with the plows. We're gonna buy 200 compost here, because I checked the bank and we have over 200 saltpeter that we got from getting... 99 fire making. I think this is the first time I've been happy to have saltpeter. Oh, we get farming XP for doing this too, so we got level 2 farming. Oh, let me show you how we do this, by the way. I lined them up like this for a reason. You don't want to deposit them here. You want to grab out your next ingredient and then deposit them, so that way you don't like lose the pattern that you had going. This clerk will take all the fertilizer that we just made directly from the bank, so let's say yes. And the host city's favor is now up to 25%, so we can steal from the fruit stalls. So we're gonna head back there now. And um, we have to get 45 thieving to start blackjacking, so we'll, we'll thieve them until 45. And there's the Jenga berries that we need, and it's also an easy task just to steal from here. There is like a safer room over there that's technically faster if you run back and forth, but this is closer to the bank. I'm probably going to end up banking almost all this stuff. Oh yeah, the fruit tops too for the um, the herb lore pies later. Like most of the stuff is really useful, like the baskets of apples we need to pay for willow trees, um, the baskets of strawberries we could use for the fight caves, pineapples make into super compost. I decided to come over to this spot because I banked pretty much everything I wanted to bank and we just got 45 thieving. So whenever we want, we can head over to the bearded bandit thugs. This took a little bit longer than I thought I would. You could see it took like almost an hour. The reason why these strange fruits are so nice, if you didn't know, is because they cure poison and they restore 30% run energy. So before we end up having staminas and even like with energy potions, which aren't really that good, um, Strange Fruits are like a nice like budget early game kind of energy potion. It's probably going to come in really handy once we go for the rogues outfit. I swear man, this whole game is all just one small favor. Let's go to finish up Fairy Tale part one now. Instead of worrying about filling up the druid pouch so that the gas don't rot the Jenger berries, I'll just bring a bunch of them. They can't rot them all, right? And Tanglefoot is down. There's the end of Fairy Tale part one. We get a bunch of farming XP, which got us from, I think we were at five to 18 farming. And we get the magic second which give you a 10% increased yield from crops when you're farming. We don't unlock the fairy rings quite yet though, we have to do fairy tale part 2. Now these requirements are to finish the quest, but you can still start the quest, and we can do the quest up until the point that you unlock fairy rings without needing these requirements. Okay wait, is this gonna work? Do we... Did we unlock the fairy rings? Yes, there we go, oh my gosh. I'm so glad to have this because for you guys, it's just me cutting to a bunch of clips and me completing all these different quests. But for me, I've been spending so much time just walking around to get to all these different places. This is gonna save so much time. And now that we have these unlocked, there is one more transportation method that we are gonna unlock today. I realized we can just come over here to the museum and we should be able to claim at least one XP lamp. Probably more, I just want to claim one of them if we can. Cool, and then we'll go ahead and use the lamp on Herblore. That is 1k XP, and that puts us at 30 Herblore. So now we can go complete the Arty Easy Diary, and we'll be able to put the lamp directly onto Herblore. We're gonna pull the lever. I really hope there's someone there waiting to PK all the group Ironmen that are coming out there. Nope. Okay, so that was a Willy task, but we want to do an Arty task. So we're gonna... Pull the lever again, and there's the already easy task. We only have a handful left to go if we check the list here. Yeah, I'll be really fast. We gotta have Tyndall Merchant, not Merchant. 
identify a sword for us. And the only task we have left to do is just to go out on the fishing trawler. We're out on the trawler and there's the task in the chat box. And is there any, yeah, there's the message right there, cool. Uh, can we escape or anything? And I'll just log off and log back in. Let's see where we appear. Perfect, a little bit uh, closer to Artie now. Well, here we go, the Artie Easy Diary. I will put all the rewards up on screen so you can see exactly what we get. But the most important thing is just that we get the Artie Cloak 1. And the Artie Cloak 1 gives unlimited teleports here to the monastery, which is really important because it is near two forms of transportation. Up here is the Spirit Tree, and then right over here is the Fairy Ring. And on top of that, it's also right next to an altar so we can restore our prayer as well once we start doing combat related stuff. So this is kind of why I want to unlock Fairy Rings and the Artie Cloak because they kind of go hand in hand. Like this run right here is just like a really iconic run for a lot of people to do, especially for like early game Iron Man. I'm just really happy with these unlocks though. It's so fun like progressing in accounts and like making all these upgrades every day. I think for the next video, I think we're going to get into some agility and some thieving. But with that said, make sure to check out Spook Dog's channel, my duo team teammate who will be linked in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.